hi guys welcome back in this video we're building this very beautiful cars app ui in flutter so we have this slide view and you can see these light animations also on all the elements and we have we're using some really nice images and text and some nice animations and you'll also get the scroll slide so let's get started so what we'll do now is we'll create a project called cars ui and now we'll open that up in our code editor i'm using vs code but you could be using any other code editor like android studio uh, i think i'll have to cd inside cars ui and then open up my code editor anyhow so uh, here we need one package uh, for all those animations and so let's come here below SDK and directly below the line of flutter you'll write simple animations and use the caret symbol 1.3.3 we'll hit ctrl s and we'll run, run the flutter pub get command to get this package and in our lib folder, whatever we have in our main.dot file, we'll remove all of that, and we'll create another file here called fade animation.dot. Dot. And our main.dot file, we'll import package flutter slash material slash dat dot dot. And we'll then write void main run app, and here we'll run material app. And inside that, we want to fill up a couple of things. So we want to say debug show check mode banner. We would, we don't want it, so we'll say false. And we'll have a theme. So we can specify the theme data like so here we can specify the color of the theme, the font of the theme. So here we'll say font family Manito, comma. The home page will be a widget called home page that we will still with which we need to work on. And here we'll put a semicolon. So now there's a squiggly line here saying that uh, it needs home page from us. So that's what we're going to do. Now I'm using a snippets uh, plugin in VS Code that helps me create uh, stateful widgets very easily. So uh, as, as you saw that we have in our app, we have uh, a lot of different things going on. So we'll need a stateful uh, widget. So what I'll say is STF, so stateful widget, right? So I'll get a stateful widget like this because I have those flutter snippets. So it helps me create uh, the widgets automatically. And here I'll say home page. So the squig line goes away. So we don't have any errors anymore. And this line you can actually get rid of completely. So that starts with home override. And here you'll need to say with. Actually, I'll take it on the next line. And here I'll say with single ticker provider state mix in and then we'll start this function and we also have to include a page controller and we'll take a variable called total page which basically defines the number of pages that we have in our project which is four for now and we'll have something called as on scroll which is completely nil or empty as of now and then inside our overwrite we're going to start initializing our state we're going to say uh, void in its state and here we'll say page controller is equal to page controller and inside that 
we'll say initial page zero comma uh, and after that after this we'll say dot dot add listener and on scroll all right so i hope uh, that's clear so here the on scroll it's actually not inside curly braces so we're going to remove that we need to remove that also and this also and here at the end we'll put a semicolon so basically on scroll inside uh, round brackets and here we'll say super dot init state and close it like that after this we need another override so we'll say at override say void dispose page controller dot dispose super dot dispose all right and before our build widget we'll again say override and here we don't want to return container we want to return actually a scaffold and inside the scaffold uh, we want to have this entire app in a page view so we'll say uh, body has a page view inside page view we have our controller that we just created the page controller and it will have some children widget with a capital W and as part of the list of these widgets we'll have uh, a widget called make page that we will define on our own we'll define it later on so but in the make page widget we'll have uh, a value called page and a value called image and a value called title and the value called description right so we'll have the page which will help us to uh, create this widget and then we'll have the image the title and the description all of these different things right so that's why we need this and then after this make page um, since we have four pages we will have to repeat this four times so we'll say again make page and inside make page we'll write all those four things again so we'll say page two comma image and then we'll say title and then we'll say description and again since we have one more page uh, I'll say make page and I'll just increase the space here to get it to the middle somewhere and here inside that I'll say page is 3 comma there will be some image link and the title will be something then we'll have some description right and then we have the fourth page so make page page is 4 Sorry for the typo. And image link our title and our description. All right, so it's giving us quick lines for all these make page uh, widgets which we are going to build in some time. But right now we have the overline, uh, like the outline of our. Uh, page ready so we'll put a semicolon here after the scaffold and after uh, this bracket we'll actually start writing our make widget page and uh, the make widget page is going to be quite big and also we need to put some finishing touches on these uh, uh, you know text for image description and the title image links as well so what I'll do is I'll just uh, cut this video short here and then in the next video we'll continue after that so do subscribe to this channel because we'll be building such nice awesome ui uh, apps in flutter and uh, so that you can stay updated when the next video of this mini series comes out 
and thanks a lot for watching and do say subscribe